And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... make your life seem less unfair.
You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought... I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is... Sometimes, when we're hurting... The people we lash out at... Are the ones who are trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex... You're a monster! Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. I agree with Ducky. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Laith, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove oh, yourself from- Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- Jason, with... I think you better cool it. I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member- You believe me, right? To a 